good morning happy friday welcome back to another vlog i have naturally very curly hair and like most curly hair it gets really frizzy especially in the summer when it's really humid outside so if you didn't see my last vlog i got a keratin treatment but just on like the top half of my head and i told you that i would show you guys what my hair looks like after i finally can wash the keratin treatment out after the first 48 hours and i should have got clips yesterday but i washed my hair and i let it air dry and obviously the bottom half that didn't have the keratin treatment was drying curly like it normally does so i blow dried that just like kind of rough dried it to smooth it out a bit but like as you can see it still is like kind of wavy in some spots but the top half i just let it air dry and i do feel like from sleeping on it it's kind of gotten a little bit flat so next time i wash it i will show you guys what it looks like when i like first get out of the shower and when it's like freshly air dried but you can kind of see this piece like it just has the most pretty, soft, like beachy mermaid wave to it. It almost looks like I used my beach waver, but it's so smooth up top. And my hair air dried this way. Like I did not use the blow dryer at all on the top half. I'm just obsessed with it. And I know that like as time goes on and as it starts to like wash out of my hair more and more, my curls will start to come back because this is the type that like fades over time rather than there being like a harsh distinct line where there's like keratin treatment hair and then natural regrowth so it over time will just kind of like gradually start getting curlier and curlier again and then like the frizz will start to come back but i love the results of this and i think i'm gonna just continue doing this on my hair because this is amazing and such a lifesaver especially in the summertime and i'm thinking that maybe I will do the underneath section. I wasn't really sure what the results were gonna be like, so that's why I originally was like, oh, let's just do the top portion because that's what's most important and what you'll see the most. I'm just using this curling wand and I'm just adding some curls and then immediately pulling them to like loosen them a little bit. So yeah, that's the hair update. But today I am going to work at the salon. I'm opening the salon this morning, so I have to be there at eight. It's currently like almost seven in the morning. And then I have a client coming in and I'm excited to do her hair, but I'm also like I she has a lot of hair so it's gonna be a lot of work but she came in last week for a consultation so I could look at her hair it's gonna be a color correction so basically her hair is like pretty much all gray and she had been covering over it with permanent color luckily the color she was using is not super super dark I would say her hair right now is like about a level six your hairdresser and know what that means basically like a light medium to light brown and she wants to start transitioning to blonde so that she can be more low maintenance with her hair and just do a bunch of highlights to blend her grays rather than having to cover over them with permanent color because when you do that you have to really be doing that like every few weeks and you're gonna see those grays as it grows in as opposed to if you are blonde and you're doing highlights you can really disguise the gray and it'll just blend in with the blonde and you won't really notice it as much and you can go a lot longer between color touch-ups i mean i already told her i don't know exactly how it's gonna lift the fact that her hair is lighter is promising still with permanent color and i think she was doing it herself at home so most if not all of that color is box color and that doesn't always come out of the hair as 
easily. So we will see what we can do with her hair today. She already knows that it's going to take multiple sessions. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work physically a lot of foils but it'll be worth it and i'm really looking forward to see the results and to start this new process this new journey don't mind all those clothes down there those are all of my winter sweaters and i ordered an under the bed bin to store all of those in because they were just taking up so much room in my closet and most of them I have not worn a single time since I've moved down south. So I'm like, I want to keep them because I still like them and I still might need them, especially when I go visit my family in Pennsylvania in the winter time. But uh, I didn't have <laughs> anywhere to put them in the meantime, so it's just going to sit there. But this dress is from H&M. It's a little bit wrinkled. Don't mind that. It's just one of those fabrics that like it gets wrinkled very easily. Like as I'm just sitting and moving around. It's like impossible to keep wrinkle free. And then I'm wearing my new shoes that I just got in the mail yesterday from Target. They're like hideous. But also, like, that's what makes them so cute to me. And they're really, really comfortable. Like, they are fully just foam. And, I mean, you can see that, like, nice thick heel. So they're super comfy. I feel like I'm just walking on a cloud. So, yeah, I'm going to head out of here now. I will see you at the salon. Exhausted, and I literally came home, took that dress off, and I'm just chilling in my bralette and bike shorts. And I was just transferring all of the after pictures of my clients to my phone, and I was posting on Instagram. I wish that I got better footage of the entire process, but especially like the after of her hair because I feel like by the time I was done, I was just so tired and I just wanted to be done because then I still had to clean up and everything. And I feel like the pictures and video that I got of her hair didn't really do it justice. Like in person, it looked so good and flawless. I try to obviously always do my best and like be proud of my work. And I feel like for a while now, like a few years, I've gotten to a point with my skills where I very rarely, knock on wood, have mess ups or feel like, oh, that didn't come out very good or, oh, I could have did better. I'm very confident with my work and my skill set, but you know, every so often you just get that one client where it's like, you really feel like you outdid yourself. And that's how I felt today. Her hair just came out so good, but I just don't think like the camera really translated how good it looked in person. But it came out so, so good. It took me exactly four hours. It was like almost exactly two hours of just foiling alone. And yesterday I did a really intense workout. So my body was really sore from that to begin with. My legs are feeling it. My back is feeling it. Those shoes were super comfortable though. I love them. They were amazing. Like my feet felt so good all day and I kept getting compliments all day. So love those. I will link them in the description. She is coming back. She booked her next appointment in a few weeks. We are going to do a second session and I'm just going to do another like really heavy highlight, but I'm just going to focus it like 
up top and in the front where she's like really heavily gray just to get her like brighter and blonder. The way her hair looks now, yes, it's way, way better than it was and a lot more blended and soft, but you can still see the distinction, especially in some areas where you know, you can see like the gray roots. So we wanna just get her even blonder and even brighter so that way you won't be able to tell and it'll just all like blend in together. I'm done for the day, I'm clocking out. I need to rest, give my body a break so that way I'll be prepared to do it all over again tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm in a little bit of a hurry this morning. I normally start at 10 on Saturdays, but I'm squeezing my friend in before my first client. So I have to get there a little bit earlier. And I just had such a hard time like actually getting out of bed. I just feel so tired and I'm like, what is going on? I feel so dramatic and it's like embarrassing to complain about it. Cause it's like you literally worked like a normal shift. It was like eight hours and I only had one client, but I realized I changed up my workout routine the day before, like I said. So my body is feeling extra sore. And anytime I like switch up my routine, which I do like every two months or so, it always takes my body a week or so to adjust. And I normally feel really tired and really sore and I just need like that extra rest and recovery. So there's that. I also just started my period yesterday. So there's that. And then yesterday, just from waking up so early when my body clearly needed the extra sleep and then doing that big color correction, I think it was just too much for my system all at once. So yeah, I'm feeling it today, but we're gonna get through it. And then I'll have the next two days off as my weekend. Today I have three clients. The first one is my friend. We're just touching up her highlights. That should be pretty quick and easy. And I did her hair like somewhat recently, so it shouldn't be like crazy grown out or anything. And then my second client, I have no idea what I'm doing on her. She was booked by one of our receptionists and she told me that it sounds like what she wants might be more of a color correction situation, but she didn't give me any further details. I also kind of have this weird feeling that she might no show. I'll explain why I feel that way later. And then my last client, I've never done her hair before, but she has been coming to the salon for years and has had her hair done by my coworkers. She's in for a highlight haircut should be again pretty straightforward hopefully she'll be nice and easy to work with and that's my day let me show you my outfit really quick and then i gotta go here's my outfit it's so dark i'll give you a different angle but this is the overview same shoes that i wore yesterday because they were so comfy these are going to be like my go-to's these brown faux leather shorts from Abercrombie and this bodysuit from Zara. A little monochromatic look today. I gotta go now. I will see you at the salon. So I really dropped the ball on this one, but this was my friend's hair before. I got so caught up in conversation with her that I forgot to get any clips and then she just wanted to leave with her hair wet so I didn't get any after pictures either. But I just did like a partial highlight to refresh her blonde. And then this was my last client of the day. She hadn't gotten her hair done since November, so it was quite grown out. So we did a full highlight on her. She wanted it to be super blended so it would be low maintenance so that she, you know, can go a long time between appointments. Unfortunately, it was so damn humid outside that as soon as we stepped outside to get after pictures, her hair got really frizzy. So I wasn't able to get the best pictures, but this is what her hair looked like. I don't even know what to say. Today was a frustrating day. It's 5.50 right now. I got to work at 9.30. I was supposed to be done by like 
3 30 4 o'clock at the absolute latest thank god my friend had came in and i was at least able to do her hair but my first client that i said i had a feeling was gonna no show she did i just knew it like i i've been no showed so many times throughout my career i just i just can pick up the vibe like i just know when it's gonna happen so basically what had happened was this girl called a few weeks ago wanting an appointment and i don't know if she requested me specifically or i just happened to be available for the day she wanted don't know who this girl is new to the salon and our policy is we require keeping a card on file we use vagaro for our scheduling system and like our point of sale and all of that we have a 24-hour cancellation policy which i think is more than fair i know a lot of places that require like much more advanced notice like 72 hours if you no show or you cancel last minute we charge 50 percent of the service that you were booked for so in order to book an appointment we need to have a card on file and you have to agree to that cancellation policy it's just insurance for us as stylists so when she booked this appointment she said that she was in the car she was driving so she couldn't grab her card you know to read off the number and that she was going to call back later all of the clients that i've experienced so far down here have been great and even when i'm working the front desk there's been very very few issues with like you know them no showing or like abiding by our policies and stuff like that like everyone has been very lovely and respectful and considerate and all of that so i feel like everybody's just like been pretty trusting because it's like oh you know we haven't had like people be sketchy or shady so anyway she never called back with her card information and i guess the receptionist just forgot about it so i was looking through because i always check my appointments like a couple days ahead of time i check and i make sure we have all their information in the system because i like i said i've been no-showed so many times in the past so like i'm used to this and i'm just like super paranoid and i noticed that we didn't have a card on file for this client and especially because she was new i was like um i'm gonna call her so when i was at the salon yesterday i called her and she answered i spoke directly to her and i said this is sam from alice lawson salon i have you down for a color appointment tomorrow at 10 a.m and i saw that we don't have a card on file for you and we do require that and she just sounded like i don't know there was just something about her voice that i was like this girl i just don't have a good feeling so she said um i'm working right now we have in our system there's like a form that we can text to clients and it allows them to enter in their card information themselves so i was like okay well i'm gonna text you this form if you could please fill it out as soon as possible i we need this before the end of the day editing me here i wasn't super clear with this part but she never ended up entering in her card info i kept checking it throughout the day and then that morning when i got up i just had a feeling that she wasn't going to show up to the appointment but at the same time it was like what am i supposed to do i can't just not show up to work because then what if she does show up i already told our receptionist if this ever happens again please do not book people with me until we have their card on file like if they tell you oh i'll call back later no say well i'm sorry until you call back there's something in my hair <laughs> until you call back we can't put you on the schedule and reserve that appointment time for you when i spoke to her i should have said like hey if i don't get that card information from you now i'm gonna have to cancel your appointment lesson learned for next time i think i started to get a little bit too comfortable because i was having such good experiences with clients down here so she didn't show up at 10 o'clock and then at like 10 20 the receptionist calls her and she actually answered which is so weird to me i've in the past when people know show if i try to call them to be like hey you coming where are you unless they like genuinely forgot but if they're like trying to be shady and just bail and like not pay their fee they usually will not answer the phone and then they'll like block the salon's number but she actually answered our receptionist was like hey you had an appointment at 10 like just calling to see where you were at if you were still planning on coming because like at this point you know you missed it 
and she was like playing stupid and was acting surprised like she forgot about the appointment she's like oh was that today oh bitch i literally spoke to you directly yesterday and told you hey you have an appointment with me tomorrow and that was like your perfect opportunity if for whatever reason you changed your mind or you weren't going to be able to make it or whatever that was your perfect opportunity to cancel like i couldn't have made it any easier for you you didn't even have to like put in the effort of like typing in the phone number like i was literally already talking to you she was like yeah so you missed it um so we're gonna need some you know a card because we have to charge you the cancellation fee she says oh no thank you bye and hangs up <laughs> so insane like what is with people psa please think of other people and not just yourself like think about how your actions affect other people when you book an appointment somewhere especially places that are like by appointment only if they have a cancellation policy there's a reason for it it's because that time is reserved for you specifically and i don't make money if i'm not doing a service i'm not just getting paid hourly when i'm doing hair and like luckily my friend came in i had another client later but if she was my only client of the day that time that i spent getting ready and coming to the salon would have been a complete waste waiting around for her completely wasted time not only that but a waste of gas I live like almost 30 minutes away from the salon. That's like almost an hour of my day just driving here and back home. And it's gas money. Had she just canceled yesterday, I would have known, okay, I can either try to like fill that spot with someone else or I can move my other client up or I could just come in later and you know do something else in the morning like edit a video or something productive with my time. And obviously if it's an emergency or something like important comes up last minute that's out of your control that's a different story but you can't just be like oh yeah i just changed my mind i just don't feel like coming in call and cancel then ahead of time because people are expecting you to be there and it's just really really rude and inconsiderate so needless to say she's been blacklisted she will not be allowed to book anything ever again moving forward with me. So then we called my last client to see if she could come earlier. She didn't answer. She was supposed to come in at one. She ended up showing up like 15 minutes late. But then we finished and I am getting ready to check her out and I'm like, oh, thank God I'm finally done. I need to go clean up so I can get the hell out of here. She notices a couple pieces right in the front, just like in her money piece, that were the tiniest bit warm. And she's one of those clients that like doesn't want to see anything. Like even like a neutral color is considered warm and brassy to her. She wants her hair like completely ashy, icy, like as cool as possible. So I was like, oh no, like what do I do now? So I, I mean, it was just her money pieces, but I refoiled the front. I mean, I did see what she was talking about and it's not her fault. Her hair right there for whatever reason, I think is just more stubborn because everything else came out beautiful and lifted so perfectly and so clean so yeah redid that retoned it but then even still she said it still looked warm to her so i was like i don't really know what else to do at this point you know obviously i want to make my clients happy and if there's anything that like needs to be fixed or tweaked i i want to do that and i try to be like very transparent and like honest like if i notice something that doesn't look right i will point it out myself and fix it before they even have a chance to but sometimes it's like oh my god i just don't even really know what the hell else to do and I'm so exhausted and over it that I just want to leave and go home and also you were late so like I just feel like I worked such a long day and the money that I made it just it's not worth it this is the kind of stuff like when I first moved down to Wilmington I took like a 10 month break from doing hair and this is why because these are the kind of days and the kind of stuff that I was dealing with on like a regular basis when I was up north 
and it just burnt me out and it made me resent doing hair. Luckily, I haven't really had days like this since I've moved down here. Like people have been lovely and it's been good, but every so often you have days like this and I think that if I was like just starting out and I was like, you know, haven't already experienced stuff like this so many times before, I would probably be like having a breakdown right now and crying. But at this point I'm so like jaded that I'm just like, but yeah, anyway, that's what happened. That's how my day went. Thank you for letting me vent. I, now that I calmed down a little and got it out of my system, I am gonna drive home. Poor Brittany has been home alone all day. I just wanna go home. Good morning, good morning. It's Monday. Yesterday I had the day off. Even on like a normal week, I always need at least one day to just stay home and recharge my social battery and just not be around people and not speak to anyone. But especially after the way Saturday went, I needed that day more than ever. <laughs> and it was nice to be able to sleep in and just kind of have a lazy Sunday and give my body that extra rest it needed. And I don't feel sore anymore or tired. So I'm feeling amazing. And now I feel like recharged and ready to be back out in the world and interact with other humans. I am going to get my hair extensions moved up this morning. I think we're just doing like a mini move up, so that's very quick. I'm usually in and out in less than 30 minutes. I just have my one row of extensions, but I'm really looking forward to that because when it is time for it to get moved up, I can tell because it just starts annoying the hell out of me. They'll just start to get kind of itchy and uncomfortable. And then after my hair appointment, I'm gonna stop by the mall because I have a Bath and Body Works coupon that is going to expire soon and I need more wallflowers. And while I'm at the mall, I kinda wanna go poke around a little bit in Forever 21 maybe. I'm on the hunt for pants that I can wear with like my little cropped tanks or just like tight crop tops in general. So I want them to be like a looser, baggier fit and more casual, almost like joggers, but something that's more lightweight that I can wear in like the summer and springtime. Last night I washed my hair and just let it air dry and then I re-wet it this morning and brushed through it because it was like looking a little crazy after I slept because it was still like kind of wet when I went to sleep. So I wanted to show you the texture of it. So you can see the top layer where I got the keratin treatment how it air dries with like the most beautiful loose wave. Like doesn't that look almost like I used my beach waver? But then you can see underneath here that did not get the keratin treatment, the difference in the texture. How much curlier it is all in through here. And I mean, it all blends together pretty well. You can't really tell the difference when it's all just down like this. That's what we got going on for the day. And then after all of that, I'm gonna be recording my podcast with my friend Julia. So yeah, first up, hair extensions. feels so much better now that she moved the extensions up and they're not like hanging loose and she threw a couple curls in it for me so from the mall I got my wallflowers the main reason I went to the mall was for Bath and Body Works and I literally almost 
forgot to go. Like I almost left them all without going in there. So I got mahogany vanilla. All the scents I got are very similar. Comfort vanilla and patchouli. Palo Santo and sage. I'm excited about that one. I think that's a newer scent too. And then love always wins, which is another new fragrance. The notes are golden star fruit, fresh coconut water, and cedarwood heart. I also got white pumpkin. They had a bunch of their fall scents and trying to not like get ahead of myself because it is still very much summer and especially down here in the south it stays hot for quite a while but i figured i would just get the one that way come fall time i will have it already and then i went to forever 21 these like parachute pants that are kind of like cargo style and then also at forever 21 i got these little flip-flop heel sandals. They're really comfy, they're very padded. Even the strap here is really cushiony and then it has a nice small little heel. And then I also went into Arrow because I swear that store has been going out of business for years now. Like every time you go in there, everything is always on sale. They had the same style pants. I was kind of torn and I almost considered getting all the colors I had tried on, but I ended up going with the white because I don't know, I just really love these. I feel like they're extra summery and beachy and I was thinking like an all white outfit with these would be so cute. I'm gonna go plug this in and make myself some lunch. Hello, good morning. I am so sorry that I didn't end up vlogging anything else yesterday. I got so in the zone that I just completely forgot and <laughs> didn't even think to pull out the camera, but I got a lot done. I finished a video. I got a lot of cleaning done, deep cleaned my bathroom, which I had been meaning to do for a couple of weeks now. I still need to clean my kitchen when I get home from work today. And then I have this pile of clothes over here. I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the vlog, but that is just more formal dresses and like thick winter sweaters that were just taking up a lot of room in my closet and I don't wear it often enough. So I ordered some under the bed bins to put that stuff in and they have arrived. So I'm gonna put that stuff away when I get home as well. My friend Kayla is coming down here tonight. She's driving down from Pennsylvania. I just want to, not that it really matters because I mean, I've known her since we were kids. So like, I don't really need to impress her or anything, but it would be nice to just get all that stuff done before she gets here so I don't have to worry about it. But today I am heading to the salon. I shouldn't be there for very long. I have a client coming in. I've done her hair before. I mean, unless she wants to do something completely different, she has a balayage. I am assuming that we are just gonna be freshening that up, in which case it should be pretty easy. Here's my outfit very quickly. This little tank top, it has like a mock neck situation. It's super old, I don't even remember where it's from. Probably like Forever 21 or something. And these jeans, I actually just got them recently. This is my first time wearing them. They are from Target, I'll link them down below. And then I'm wearing these sandals that are also from Target. So we're doing a nice monochromatic look today again so here was my client's hair before we started last time i did her hair was almost five months ago and i feel like it still looked really good i was really impressed and happy with it but you know it was time for a refresh so i just did a full head of tz lights to bring everything up higher but still keep it really soft and blended this is what her hair looked like after i toned it while it was still wet it's crazy how dark it looks when it's wet and then this was her finished hair. So beautiful, I'm obsessed. This morning went so smoothly. My client was amazing. She was super sweet. She loved what we did last time and she just wanted to do the exact same thing. Just very natural, blended, low maintenance. Did a little trim and it came out so beautiful. And I was so happy because I loved how her hair looked even when she came in. Like it's so exciting to me to see what my work looks like months later, to see how it 
grows out and especially she's like a very very low maintenance kind of client like she is a wash and go kind of person she doesn't even use like purple shampoo or anything like that so like to see how the tone still looked like really beautiful and even and everything was like so blended that made me very happy so today definitely made up for saturday so i'm just feeling way better i'm in a really good mood and the best part is it's only 12 o'clock so i also love when i feel really productive but i got a couple packages the first one is just my nespresso order and then i got my amazon stuff so i needed some more um lash lift serum to do my lashes with and then i got my under the bed bins they had these fabric ones and they were super cheap and i figure these would be good too because then if i'm not using them i can just fold them up super small and i can kind of like smush them down a little bit if i need to hopefully all that stuff will fit in these i just got two of them let's go do that really quick That was perfect and I still have a good amount of space in this second one and these actually both came together in a two pack and I love that it's fabric because you can really like stuff it full because the plastic ones like the lid will pop off sometimes if it's too full so this is perfect and then like I said if you need to like squish it down or anything you can I really like this and I like that the top is clear so I can see exactly what's in here amazing they were so cheap too so 10 out of 10 I'll link these down below I'm just gonna shove these under the bed the only thing is that the fabric if you have like a rug or carpet it doesn't slide as easily so that's the only downside but I'm going to wrap up this vlog here so that way I can edit it and get it scheduled and all of that. Um, I still need to do a little bit of cleaning. So I'm just gonna be home the rest of the day getting everything that I need to get done before my friend gets here. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having an amazing week and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.